Right, so uh, this will be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well uh, Gemini Rising, weekly general tarot reading for October 12th to uh, October 18th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading or you do want to take a tarot class, uh, in regards to both of those things, you can find information in the description down below. So with that being set aside, uh, let's lay down the cards and uh, see what you do have to experience throughout the week. Right. Right, so the upper half, uh, it does describe your uh, love and relationship life, the upper half of the spread here. So we do have the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, after that, it is the Eight of Pentacles, and the final one is going to be the Seven of Swords. The bottom half of the spread does shows up your uh, professional, how can I say, uh, professional manifestation and your career. So th there we do have the Four of uh, Pentacles, Eight of uh, Swords, Two of Cups, and then is going to be the Nine of Swords. Right, so uh, let's focus on the love and relationship uh, first. Now the, the impression that's, uh, the first impression that I got from the, uh, from the sprite here is given to me by the Ten of Pentacles that we do have uh, in this particular, um, in this particular spread, which is a clear sign that you, Gemini, should look toward a the future, okay, rather than trying to recapture the past. For the Ten of Pentacles standing there, it kind of points that, um, how can I say, uh, that at least for throughout this week, um, well, it's very difficult to describe it, and I'm sorry, guys, cause, because uh, it's... I don't want to take I, I don't want you to take it in the wrong way. So the Ten of Pentacles points that throughout this week there may not be a development upon a, a love endeavors that you are trying to develop. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to drop them out. Okay, just don't don't get yourself discouraged if things are not going on your way throughout this particular week, October 12th to October 18th, in term, of, uh, in term of Romans. And that's why, especially if you, are a ver if you are single and you do like to keep your options available, that's why it will be a good idea, you know, to attend to things that are actually working out for you. At least because we do have the Knights of Wands here, and Knights of Wands in this deck corresponds to the King of Wands. Uh, into the traditional one, and the King of Wands in term of um, in term of love and relationship, especially having it into this very prime position of the spread, does refer to undertaking some kind of a new challenges and as well ambitions in a sense of uh, that you 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 pretty much have to aim for you to be happy and for you to be fulfilled and satisfied. And if the endeavors that you are trying to develop within your current romantic life cannot offer you a fulfillment and satisfaction, then something else will be able to do it, okay? And just in a very simple word, if I may say it that way, if your current person of interest does not wanna go out with you on a date, somebody else will. and. You know, obviously you have to go, not obviously, but according to those cards, you should give the other man a chance or the other woman a chance because who knows, they may be able to pretty much make you happy. And um, pretty much at the end of the week here that we do have, you are uh, ending up in a high horse, if I may exp express it that way, where you will pretty much going to satisfy your needs, you are going to satisfy, you know, your agenda and your goal, and those who does not want to follow you or who are not, say, 
pleased with the conditions under which you know you're going to find yourself happy. Obviously, you're going to stay uh, outside of your peripheral and are not going to take participation uh, into your love endeavors moving forward. But the good thing is that we do have the Eight of Pentacles here into the third position, and that describes that uh, you can have it the way you want to have it in a, in a grand scheme of things. Maybe not with the person you want to have it, but ultimately you're going to have the type of the thing, of the relationship, of the enterprise or whatever that you want to have regardless whom with. That is if you do have an open mind and you do keep your options available. But if you are stuck with one particular individual or with one particular thing or one particular way, by all means, you know, that's your choice. You can you can go with it. And of course, you know, not suffer, but undertake the consequences of that decision of yours. So um, just a final sentence here i'm gonna say about the love life it is that you need to understand guys that you are not meant to be with uh matilda james mike uh, stefan or whatever you are meant to be happy and how you are gonna do that it is entirely based on your decisions and here if things are not going the way you want them to go probably you have to change the the focus of your decisions so let's move to the um, to the career reading and uh, career reading are looking really, really good. It, it does look like that you're going to get along with uh, the people that you are working with, your clients, you know, your uh, your co-workers as well, your boss and supervisor. So if you have really rough time uh, in terms of uh, kind of like cooperating with those that you are working with this week, it will be a week where differences are going to be set aside uh, and as well uh, plans are going to be combined, if you will. A, a cumulative and common way uh, or a mutual way is to be found how to work together and above everything else, how to not to interfere with one another. Uh, another thing uh, that's uh, here those cards are describing and is actually is coming from the Eight of Swords sitting into this position. Uh, it points that, and that is something that my uh, my partner is constantly keep telling me. Uh, you you probably are not aware how far you can actually go with your, your with your current career plan, with your current job, with your current business, and etc. etc. For the Eight of Swords here in this position, points that you do have certain limits that you alone bestowed upon yourself and those are self-imposed limitations that you know are only within your mind and should you start thinking big then big are the results going to be for you in terms of a career moving forward uh so to me this card here kind of like signifies that you shouldn't settle for are little things, you know, in terms of your professional unfoldment. Um, aside from that, the week, uh, it kind of looks like that you're, uh, that the actions that you're going to make, you know, the projects that you're going to work on, uh, the, the job, the tasks, etc., etc., uh, your performance in them are going to pretty much ensure your certain and secure future moving forward. And also you will be able to consolidate and, um, what is the other word? Well, I would I would use just this one. Uh, consolidate your position uh, in front of your colleagues, in front of your boss, and in general, um, establish yourself as a something. Uh, it's a pretty good week uh, finding a job, uh, but you also need to, in order to do that, you have to lift up those limitations for probably you're not going for as good job as you can go. And probably that is the reason why you can't find a suitable job. Ultimately, by the end here at the Seven of Swords, you may kind of like be a, bit, a little bit uncomfortable with this card. For as you accomplish everything that we said thus far, uh, the results are going to be staggering and you may be uh, kind of like afraid that you may not be able to maintain those results while you can, should you once again do not place upon yourself 
certain limits. It's pretty much the uh, the sprite here for you, Gemini, urges you to believe that you can do it and you are going to do it. On top of that, with the Nine of Swords, by the end of the week, you are to face some, um, I would say, problems or current issues that uh, beforehand were not attended to for they looked pretty overwhelming but now as your um as your place is consolidated and you do have the support of those around you uh, now those issues can be brought to bear and they could be definitely resolved so that being said gemini this was your weekly general tarot reading guys hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we may see each other next time until then bye